guys. I just wanted to tell you, you may want to turn your sound up because I'm trying to be very quiet because Monkey's sleeping. So after the intro, you might want to go ahead and turn your sound up. Hey guys, Shaper1000 here. This is Shea Bear Spooky Story Time. Okay? I have a true story for you that actually happened to me personally, like back in 1997. Now, but before we get to the story, I'm going to talk to you guys about something real quick. Uh, the Alexa thing I did, I could never get her to say weird stuff like at. 3 a.m. or whatever, you know. I just uh, couldn't get her to do it. But what she has been doing, she has been doing, like, just for no reason, like, the night before last, uh, Monkey and I was sitting in, in here watching TV in the bedroom, and all at once she just started talking. Now, my, in, what I think may be going on with that is she's got a microphone now for you guys that are in the paranormal you know you guys may use something similar to this or this just uh, some voice recorders they have mics and you know you go and you check you leave them set somewhere for a while and you listen you play them back and you see if you hear EVP EVPs electronic voice phenomenon. Now, if you think about it, Alexa also has a mic. So, if she's picking up EVPs and maybe hears her name or something sounds like her name, she could be responding to that. So that's my, that's kind of like my take on that. So anyway, to the story. Like I said, this is true. It really happened to me. Uh, back in 1997, uh, my first wife and I lived in a trailer, okay, and it was in a little tiny trailer park, there was five trailers in all, there were four that went this way, and ours went this way, well, her aunt and her aunt's husband, Uncle Sam and Aunt Jeannie, they moved in just right across, just driveway width, you know, maybe two car widths between their trailer and ours. I'd come home for lunch about noon, and uh, I'd sit and have lunch with them. I had an hour lunch, so, and, uh, you know, and Jean would always come over every day and talk to my uh, late wife, and uh, she, uh, she was there, you know, that day, just as always, and, and I come in, we're sitting there talking, I've been home about five minutes, and our door, it was summertime, we always kept the door open, and, uh, well, here come Uncle Sam in, and I said, hey Sam, how's it going? He didn't look at no one, none of us, there's three of us sitting there at the table right beside the door, and as soon as you walked out of the kitchen, to the left was the door for the bathroom. He walked right in, opened the bathroom door, went to the bathroom, closed it. And I said, Jeannie, is, is, is there something wrong? Is he okay? Is he feeling all right? She said, he was fine a little bit ago when I came over here. I said, hmm, is he mad it's about something? Is something bothering him? She said, not that I'm aware of. And no more did I say that. Maybe a minute and a half, two minutes later, you know, we're sitting there talking. Here comes Sam in the front door wearing the same clothes we just seen him in two minutes before. And we all looked at each other and looked up at him and no, no one knew what to say. And he said, Geesh, what's the matter, guys? You look like you've seen a ghost. And I said, we may, very well may have. And so I jumped up, went right around the corner, opened the bathroom door, and no one was in there. No one, and you couldn't get out that bathroom window. No matter, you know, you, you just couldn't do it. It'd be it'd be hard for a kid to do it. 
and it was weird and that is a true story and to this day I don't know you know what that was all about I don't know if it was a doppelganger I don't know but I never experienced that before after that um, very strange and unfortunately the other three people that were involved in this Sam Jeannie and my late wife they're all gone now they've all passed away but I just wanted to tell you that so remember that uh, when you're you know if something like that happens there's a reason and why we don't know but remember one thing when you're watching this video if you happen to be watching it late, late, late at night, right now it's after midnight, just remember to watch out for... Okay, <laughs> had to do it guys. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Uh, that's my That's my story. And, uh, but it is a true story for real it really happens so Shea Bear scary story time spooky story time uh, anyway I wanted to share that with you and Shea Bear I'm at the man of the legend I'm gone for now guys bye bye take care